have been in California now less than 30 hours. And I think I already know why you're number one in the nation in so many fields. <laughs> Education is a national need. And I want to assure you that as long as I am president, the education of your children is going to receive top priority by the men who lead your nation. A century ago, we were a nation of farms and farmers. Eighty percent of our people lived in rural areas. But just as our colleges and universities changed the future of our farms a century ago, so they can help change the future of our cities. We are on the frontiers of a new America. Fifty years ago, President Lyndon B. Johnson came to UCI and he made a declaration that he would try and improve the state of our education here in the United States. And I think 50 years later, in retrospect, he succeeded. of the university has grown exponentially and that's probably been the most exciting part being a student knowing that you are in a campus that's growing and continuing to grow. The best part of it is that there's always construction going on. As a civil engineering student I love to take a look at different architectural features on the campus. Every year there's something new, something happening. UCI is very unique in the fact that it's so new. So as students we can create our own traditions, we can create our own culture, we can step up and become leaders. I think UC Irvine has been a fantastic choice and has been a great place for me to grow as an individual. I've learned more about the humanistic aspect of medicine, but I've also been able to learn about the technological advances and innovation. Irvine in itself is almost a disruptive innovator of technology. What I've enjoyed most about my experience at UCI is talking to students, talking to faculty, and what's really been valuable to me is when you're talking to professors, there is a level of respect there, and that's very important to have a really a strong relationship. The atmospheric sciences and atmospheric chemistry programs really became global leaders due to the work of Dr. Sherwood Rowland, who won the Nobel Prize in 1995. Continuing on the great work that Dr. Rowland did, our lab is collecting samples all around the world, and we're analyzing for different greenhouse gases, different pollutants that are being given off. Some of the work that's being done here at UCI definitely has the possibility to help change the world. It's pretty amazing to be a part of all of this. I never really imagined that I would end up doing something this important. I'm the first male in my family to graduate high school. I'm the first to attend college. When I was in the eighth grade, I started going to funerals of classmates. Some of them were homicides. And many of my friends didn't graduate because they had babies. I always thought that I'd be, you know, a laborer somewhere, maybe like a construction worker like my father was. I never really even thought that I would go to college. Getting into a university was the biggest thing that's ever hit my family. And identifying myself as a graduate of the University of California is huge to me. Community service is very important to me because I feel like that is where you can really make a difference even as a medical student. So if you see right here, there's that movement of the screen. That's the baby's heart right there. There it is. If I can help, for example, these underserved communities, especially the Latino population that has a language barrier added to that, that will help me be a more well-rounded physician and someone who can truly be an advocate for my patients. Because of where it's located, because of the people who come to UCI, I've been exposed to a lot of different cultural backgrounds, which have caused me to become a lot more open-minded and definitely more empathetic. One of the core values from UCI being fun, 
is something that I took very seriously. I remember reading a quote that said, life is a lot more fun when you say yes. Uh, so I actually decided to say yes to a lot of opportunities. Good morning, this is the TEDxUC Irvine Radio Hour. Super cool is that we're in the Guinness Book of World Records for largest dodgeball game with 6,084 ant eaters. We put our hands like this and go zot zot zot. I thought it was this, but then I realized you have to have a snout. Now, college is a very profound experience. I'm gonna miss it, I'm gonna miss the school, but I'm also very grateful and very thankful for all it's given me. It's prepared me, I'm ready, I'm ready to take on the world. I'm very excited about graduating, but it's hard to say goodbye to all the great relationships you've had here and all the good memories. I'm excited, I'm fearful, I'm scared, I'm happy, you're feeling all those emotions at one time. UCI has really given me confidence as a student to really go out and apply for those jobs and apply for those opportunities. For the last four years, our four years I'll never forget. I'm grateful for the university for giving me the opportunity. I would never be able to afford to come here. I'm on a full scholarship. After I graduate from UC Irvine, I will be heading to the University of California, Berkeley to start my master's program in journalism. The story of America isn't about people who quit when things got tough. It's about people who kept going, who tried harder, who loved their country too much to do anything less than their best. What you make of your education will decide nothing less than the future of this country. 